Silver Hawaii! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, when gun law ruled the range country, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for justice. He gave no quarter to outlaws, but there were a few men whose reputation was worse than their deeds. One of these was Billy the Kid, and one of the Lone Ranger's most exciting adventures took place when he met the kid for the first time. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading back for Texas! Hi, Silver! Away! Sheriff Sam Scott, a scowl upon his face, fired rapid questions at the two roughly dressed men who stood beside their horses in front of an isolated Dobie hut and... You? What's your handle? Toby's what they call me, Sheriff. This is Charlie. Toby what? I reckon our front names will have to do you, Sheriff. No, don't get Toby wrong, Sheriff. We ain't crooks. But I don't always have to be running from the law to want to keep his name kind of private. Yeah? Well, this is all part of my county. Inside there, Pedro Fernandez is laying dead. Murdered. Shot in the back. You gents say you can name the killer. We can. Well, whether you know it or not, that mix happened to be a friend of mine. Him and his brother Miguel both. Doggone good friends. Pedro's killer is going to pay. And you're the only witness can pin it on him. But we still ain't going to... You'll either give your name so when the time comes you can testify illegal or set in jail. Now, just a second. Well... Sheriff, you just don't savvy. I reckon maybe we'd better tell you where we're from. Then maybe you'll understand why we ain't advertising who we are. Where are you from? New Mexico. Lincoln County. Huh? You mean... You've heard of the Lincoln County War, huh? Well, I should smile. Was you fellas mixed up in that? We were. On whose side? The side that won. Oh. Um, but that don't mean the trouble's over. There's still plenty of fellas alive that like to make it tough for us if they could. Especially if they knew why we was here. Well, why are you? We've been trailing the gent that made most of the trouble back home. He's a killer. And there's a United States warrant out for him. But he's still got friends aplenty. Well, maybe so. But what's all that got to do with Pedro? Just this. The army we're trailing and the gent that killed Pedro are one and the same... Uh, huh? So you can see why we aim to keep who we are private for a while. Leastways, till after he's caught. After that, it won't matter so much. You mean you know the name of the fellow shot Pedro? Yes, sir. Who is he? Before we tell you that, Sheriff, we aim to know something. You figure to hunt him down? I'll see the skunk hanged or turn in my badge. No matter who he is? No matter who. Well, he's mighty dangerous. 
That's why we didn't jump him when we heard the shot and seen him right away. He figured it was a bad time for it. Get on with it. Name the polecat. Well, Sheriff, some folks know him by the name of Bill Bunny. Huh? But he's got another handle everybody knows him by. What? Billy the Kid. <laughs> So, Billy, I've told you the truth. The law, it will soon be here. They picked up my trail, Miguel? See, si. Miguel, why did you warn me? You are my very good friend. But they claim I killed your brother. That is not so. Never have you armed one of my race. You've got faith in me, even if you don't know who did kill Pedro? See, si, but you must hurry, amigo. There is but little time. Yeah, I reckon I better. And you'd better make tracks for home. Sheriff, get a look at you with me, and you're going to have plenty to explain. Hurry, amigo. Come here, bro. Well, Miguel... Now you see what it means to be wanted by the law. I've been on a jump for so long, I can't hardly recollect what it feels like to take things easy. No, someday <laughs> all will be well, Billy. <laughs> yeah. Well, when it is, I, I'll likely be decorating Boot Hill. No, no, that must not be. Now, well, Miguel, I've lived by the gun, so I reckon I'll die by it. When I do, I, I won't be any old man. You can bet on that. I do not like to Keep hear. this in mind, amigo. See, si. You've done me a good turn today. You've showed me the kind of faith a fella don't often meet up with. Well, whatever they say about me, they can't claim Bill Bonney ever forgets his friends. Miguel, here's hoping we live to cut each other's trail again. Si, si, amigo. Adios. Hasta la vista. Get up, Ron. Get up there. Get up. It was two hours later that Billy the Kid, flying from the law, saw a figure ahead of him just where the trail skirted a deep ravine. Billy touched spurs with his powerful gray mount, intending to circle and avoid a meeting. But when he saw the figure with that of a young woman and heard himself hailed, he changed his mind and held to his course. Stop! Stop! Help! Come on, boy! Whoa, whoa there, boy! Whoa, whoa, boy! Whoa! Miss, what's the trouble? Oh, he's dying. I know he's dying. Please help me. Yeah, yeah, now, Miss. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break down, but, but I've been so worried. Sure, Miss. I suppose you're telling me what's wrong so as it makes sense. My, my father's at the bottom of the ravine. Yeah? We we were riding here along the trail. His horse shied at, at a snake. When it pitched, he was thrown over the side. He's down there now. I, I can see him. I've called to him, but he doesn't answer. Come on. Point him out. We'll see what can be done. This way. Just over here. See? Next to those rocks there. Hey, careful, miss. Don't get too near the edge or you'll be tumbling over yourself. Well, I, I don't know what to do. Well, just a second. Hello down there. Hi there. You, you think he's, he's dead? Now, miss, don't you go expecting the worst. Most likely he's just unconscious. Yeah. Don't like the way he's got that one leg doubled up there, though. Looks to me like he got it busted. It, is there a way to get down there? No, I don't reckon there is. You mean we... The drop's too steep. Just as steep up the trail a ways as it is here. Couldn't even a goat make it. But there must be some way. There must. Well, uh... we, we just can't leave him there. Maybe it could be done. What? Well, with a rope, maybe. I was thinking if one end, say, was tied to that tree beside you and the other dropped over the side, a fella might get down on it. Then he could get your paw over his shoulders and maybe make it back up. It'd be quite a chore, though. Oh, if you would, I, I'd never stop thanking you. Huh? Me? What? Isn't that what you meant? Gosh, miss, to, to get down there and back again, even supposing it could be made, would, would take most of an hour. I... You mean you won't? Well, I don't know how to say it. You, but... you just ride on and leave him there to suffer? Miss, you don't say it. I, I think I do. No, you don't. And well, I reckon I can't explain. You're a coward. That's not so. You are. Look, miss. Don't I... bother to make excuses. You needn't trouble yourself. I'll just ask one thing. Let me buy that rope on your saddle. Huh? If you're afraid, I'll try it myself. I only hope that you'll never be able to forget you refused my father help when he needed it. Miss, you can't do that. I can try. You... Why, you'd get killed. And if you did make it down there, you'd never be able to carry a hefty fellow like him. Will you sell me your rope? You mean to go through with it? I do. Well, you win, miss. You... Get the rope. 
You you let me use it? No. But why don't... Miss, if it has to be done, I'll do it myself. Just hope I'm not going to be sorry for this afterwards. Fastening one end of his rope to the tree, Billy let the other end down into the ravine and made a cautious descent. He found the girl's father still alive, but seriously injured and unconscious. Almost an hour went by, and then... Miss, give, give me a hand. Here, quick. Just about off the end. I'll help. There, just, just a little farther. There. There. Oh, oh, I thought for a while I'd never make it to the top. Father. Just, just let him lay there for a couple of seconds, miss. As soon as I get my strength back, I'll, I'll fix him on my saddle. Is, is he... Bad hurt? Yes. Well, to, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. Like I figured, he's got a busted leg. Bruised up some, too. And it looks like he's got a nasty crack on the side of his head. But if he ain't hurt too much inside, I reckon he'll be all right. I don't know how to thank you. I don't matter, miss. You've helped us, and and you don't even know who we are. (laughs) You don't know who I am. Well, uh, I'm Lola Brent. My father's Jess Brent. We have a ranch north of here. Yeah? And and you? I... uh... I'll tell you who the skunk is, Miss Lola. What What the... Make a move, you killer, and I'll let you have it. Toby! Ask your hand. Why, you... In front of mister. Wait, you can't do this. He just... Miss Lola, I reckon we got here just in time. We've been after this gent since early morning. But, Sheriff... He's wanted for murder a dozen times over. That's not true. He... He tell you his name? No, but... Well, if he didn't, I will. This fellow you're sticking up for is Billy the Kid. Oh. <laughs> Heard of him, man. Eh? Well, you got me, Sheriff. There's no use stretching this out no longer unnecessary. But if I was you, I'd look after Brent here first off. He needs it. Wait. Huh? This is why you wanted to ride on. Didn't want to help me. Well, uh... But you did stay to help. You stayed when you knew it might mean capture and hanging. Oh, I couldn't do anything else, could I? I made you stay. Now, if miss... If you're hanged, it'll be my fault. After you risk your life for us. Don't feel bad, miss. I didn't do nothing I didn't want to do. Just Sheriff, I... you can't take him. Miss Lola, don't try to interfere. But you can, I tell you. I won't let you. Miss, you can't meddle with the law no matter what this polecat done. He's a killer and he's got to hang for it. And if he's got you on his side already, that just goes to show how slick he is. I'm wondering how long you'd be defending him... If you knew who it was, he drilled this last time. The father he shot was just as much a friend of yours as he was of mine. Who do you mean? Pedro Fernandez. Oh, no. Shot Pedro on the back, he did. I don't believe it. It it isn't true, is it? Miss Lola. Yes? It ain't true. I've got enemies and they frame me. But that's too long a story to go into now. I won't deny I have killed men. Maybe almost as many as they say I have. But I've never yet shot anybody in the back. No, I've never drilled anybody that wasn't asking for it. Yes, I do believe that. Thank you, miss. But I... There's been too much talk. We're heading for town. Toby, you and your pard pick up Mr. Brent and one of you take him in the saddle with you. Sure. Billy, you hold out your hands while I tie him. Then you can get atop of your horse. Drop that gun, Sheriff. Come here, man. Long Ranger. Billy, into the saddle. Right. What's these fellas, Tonto? Uh, you can't... Keep your hand from that gun, Charlie, or stop lead. Toby, he knows my name. I know plenty about you. Here's the... Yes, Scout. I know you two of the gun hands responsible for killing Tunstall in the war at Lincoln County. We are quiet. I know you're part of that Lincoln County gang that drove Billy here to gunplay to protect his friends. That's a dirty lie. You came out on top because you had the backing of that crooked ring at Santa Fe. You're beyond the law now because a general pardon's been declared for all those who took part in that war. Mister, you can't call Quiet, I said. Out of all of you, Billy here is probably the only one who still must run from the law. And out of all of you, he probably deserves to less than anyone. Mister... If you're taking that killer's side, you'll be as much outside the law as he is. Perhaps. But you'll not railroad him to the noose for a crime he didn't commit. Yep. Get him, Tonto. Uh, don't follow or you'll regret it. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Stout. Get him up, Silver. Hey, get him. Get him. Get him. Fire at him. Shoot them hombres down. Ah, they're traveling too fast to get a good aim on him. Never touched him. Blast the luck. With the horses they're riding, we'd never catch them, neither. I'm glad. I hope you never do. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, led Billy the Kid to the secret camp they had made. Not far from the scene of their encounter with the sheriff. Get down, Billy. Rest yourself. You look as though you need to. Later on, Tonto will fix us some food. Uh. Yeah. Friend, I, I don't serve you this yet. How come a fella like you that's always supposed to be on the side of the law went out of his way to help a gent with my kind of a reputation? It's not easy to pass judgment on people, Billy. But I don't understand. And in this case, I think I know more about you than you might guess. You see, not long ago, Tonto and I headed for Lincoln County, and the trouble there was at its worst. Before we arrived, however, the war had been finished. Yeah? And that's not the point. When we first started for Lincoln County, we meant to capture you. According to all the stories that had been told, you were a killer of the worst type. A killer who murdered simply to show his power. Mister, I never wanted to kill nobody. I, I know that now. You you do? We must have talked to at least a dozen Mexicans on the way. Men and women with their homes on this side of the border. About me? Yes. And they told us a number of interesting things. For one, the first man you killed, you shot defending your mother. That's so. Later, when men learned how fast you were with a gun, certain fools thought they might make themselves reputations by killing you. They forced you into gunfights. Wherever you got your information, friend, you sure got it straight. In the Lincoln County affair, there's no question but what Tunstall was in the right. It was a war to the finish. If you hadn't befriended him, he couldn't have lasted as long as he did. I'll tell you something. Yes? I like Tunstall, mister. He was the best friend I ever had. And when a man's my friend, I side him. As you should. But it was something else made me decide you weren't as bad as you'd been painted. What was that? The fact that not one of the Mexicans to whom I talked would have refused anything you might have asked. They wouldn't hear a word against you. The same was true of the small ranchers and homesteaders we met. The only men who wanted your death were men who feared you because they knew they'd wronged you. Now they're hunting me down like I was a rat. Toby and Charlie are two of the gang, aren't they? Right. And there are a couple of sneaking varmints that wouldn't have the nerve to shoot anybody less than it was in the back. Ah, in the back. Wait. Hmm? That's how Pedro was killed. You mean that... I mean there's a price on your head. So far, you've avoided capture. You've done so, however, only because you've had the help and friendship of the Mexicans. They've given you food and shelter, provided you with hideouts, prevented your enemies following too close on your trail. Then you think... If the Mexicans who have helped you could be convinced you murdered one of their own race, they'd turn against you. It'd be that much easier for your enemies to capture you. So that's what's behind it. I'm positive it is. Why, the skunks... And that would mean the very men who had given testimony against you... Are the men who committed this last killing. Toby and Charlie. Correct. But this time... Huh? This time, I think they'll find it's their own necks they put in a noose. With the escape of Billy the Kid, the sheriff had given up the chase for the moment and had helped Lola Brent remove her father to his home. A doctor was called who said that Brent's broken leg was his only serious injury. Lola stayed at his side until he fell asleep. Then she tiptoed from the room and softly closed the door. Oh! Don't be frightened. Uh, what? I've been waiting for you to leave your father's room. You, you're the man who took Billy from the sheriff? Yes. What do you want? Today, Billy risked his life because your father was in danger. You're aware of that. I'm here to find out if you appreciate what he did enough to do something that may save Billy's life. He's in danger? Not immediate danger. But there'll always be danger for him as long as the law is convinced he killed Pedro. Oh, I can help him. If you will. But of course I will. How? Oh. Can you leave the house? Is there anyone who can watch out for your father a few hours? Mrs. Mayhew. How soon can she be here? You want me to go for her right now? Yes. Well, it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. Very well. But go at did... once. I'll stay here until you return. Then you'll learn what you must do. <laughs> the Lone Ranger was calling on Lola Brent. Tonto and Billy were also active. They rode toward the small woods near town where Toby and Charlie had made camp until Billy could be captured. Then, seated beside their campfire, these two were unaware that they were being stalked by the very man they hoped to see hanged. <laughs> well, Charlie, you reckon we turned the trick? Huh? With Billy. When it's told around that he killed that mix, he won't have a friend left in the country. Oh, Oh, yeah. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. 
<laughs> you don't sound so good. Nothing bothering you? Nothing you ain't known about since we took on this job. Oh, I get it. Still scared of what Billy might do to you, huh? Ain't you? Uh-uh. Why should I? You mean to say you figure you could down him in a gunfight? Never said I figured so, did I? And why don't it bother you? Why should it when I don't ever figure to go up again, that hombre? He can't drill me if I don't get close enough to him to give him the chance, Kenny. <laughs> Shucks, we didn't take on this job to fight it out with him. All we have to do is fix it so he won't have a friend left or a place to turn. Let the law do the dirty work. What's to stop him from looking us up? Oh, so that's it, eh? But Charlie, I reckon you can quit your worrying. That hombre's hightailing. Lay your five to one, he ain't even in the county no more. Oh, I Take know. that bet, Charlie. Billy. Huh? And the engine we seen with the mass man. That's right. You can. No, no, don't reach, Toby. It wouldn't be healthy. Charlie, you quit looking so restless. No, don't kill us, Billy. We ain't done nothing, please. Shut up, you sniveling fool. But he's going to kill us, Toby. I know he is. Look at him, he'll kill us. Billy, please, don't shoot He's I... the one, Tano. Um, me get him. You come. No. You come. Let me alone. Come. Don't touch me, engine. Come with me. Let me go. It'll be murder. Let me go. Me uh, not kill you. You idiot. Why would I drill you? But you... Sure, Wait. I know you lied about me. Got a notion you're the polecats that drilled Pedro, too. But what good would it do me to kill off the only fellas that swear to the truth? Then, then where are you taking me? That's my business. But I... Let's go, Tano. Uh. Take him to the horses. Miguel, the brother of the murdered man, confident that Billy had not been responsible for Pedro's death, called at the sheriff's office in an effort to persuade the lawman that Toby and Charlie had lied. Senor, I know Billy. He's my friend. He's the friend of Pedro. He not kill my brother. Miguel, there's no use talking. I've got two witnesses. They do not speak the truth. Now we ain't going to go over all that again. And it seems funny to me that you'd argue for a fella it's a cinch as guilty as blazers. If it was me and Pedro was my brother... I'd do everything I could to see the vomit hung. But, Senor, don't you say... I... Shut up. Listen. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry. Well, Senor, I... where you go? It's that masked fellow. Bob! Sam! Get to the saddle! That masked man there! That fellow on the white horse! Steady there, fellow. That's a friend of Billy the Kid. Come on after him. Follow me! Get up! Get up there! <laughs> The Lone Ranger drew ahead and out of sight of the lawman who pursued him, but he was careful to guide Silver over ground where his trail could be followed. The great horse raced towards the woods where Toby had been left alone by Tonto and the kid. It was not long afterwards that the masked man reined up at the edge of the clearing. And... Oh, hold there, Silver! Oh, oh, oh. Put down that gun! You're a friend of Billy's hand! And take it! You're not hurt. I just shot the gun from your hand. Next time, do as I tell you. What do you want? I came here to warn you that Charlie confessed. Eh? Billy got the truth out of him. They've gone for the sheriff. The sheriff will be along most any time now. You'd better clear out. What are you trying to tell you me? You heard what I said. You're bluffing. You think so? Charlie ain't done any talking. The sheriff ain't after me. Why should he be? I think you know why. Now I savvy. Yes? It's a trick. You just had some kind of a fool notion that we'd kill Pedro. You said that to trick me into admitting it. Then you're due for a surprise. We never killed nobody. It was that fellow you helped get away from the law. It was Billy the Kid. And you're going to be mighty sorry you helped that skunk out. I warned you. If you're not gone by the time the sheriff arrives, it's your own fault. <laughs> if what you said was true, you'd never have come near here. No? You're Billy's pard. Why'd you want to give me warning? You wouldn't understand if I told you. Well, you might just as well climb on that horse of yours and head back where you come from. And tell Billy your scheme didn't work. I... Look there. What the... What does that look like? The sheriff. With a posse. Wait. He's coming here. Now, do you see how much you could depend on Charlie keeping his mouth shut? That's why Billy chose him instead of you. He knew Charlie was a weaker. He wouldn't hold out as long. Well, I'll and what's you. more, when Charlie confessed, he put all the blame on you. He said it was your scheme, and it was you who fired the shot that killed Pedro. He's over to turn state's evidence. Why, the rotten yellow skunk. It was Charlie killed Pedro. I never had a thing to do with it. I just stood by to see nobody come along. Why, he can't do that to me. You should have gone when you had the chance. They won't get me. Stay away from that guy. Until you get back. Oh, oh, oh. We got you, mister. Up with your hands. One moment. Don't give me no argument. Heist him. Toby, take this fellow's guns. You're after him? Who else? 
Ain't he the one took Billy away? Well, I'll be... What? Why, that was your stunt, huh? The sheriff was after you, and you figured to make me believe it was me he was after. You did believe it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah a lot of good had done you. Two tricks you tried on me, and neither one of them worked. <laughs> no? Well, look behind you. That girl. Here, yeah, it wasn't Billy who killed Pedro. It was this man's partner. I heard him say so. What's that, Miss Lola? I was hiding there. The masked man made this man think you were going to arrest him. He said Charlie murdered Pedro. Are you telling that straight? Well, here's Mr. Mayhew. He came with me. He heard it, too. That's so, Sheriff. I heard it plain. Why, you... Easy. You have him there listening. I wish I'd guilty you. Man, man. grab onto him. Let go. It was Charlie. I told the masked man the truth. It wasn't me at all. Can't do nothing to me. Find Charlie. I'll testify again. Oh, you will, will you? Charlie. You rotten squealer. What? Where'd you come from? I was listening there, too. I couldn't warn you because the engine and Billy wouldn't let me. But I'll teach you to squeal. Why, you no, fool, take care of them. Break them fellas up. I'll grab them all. Put cuffs on them. They're both going to jail. Here, get back. Let me go. Let me go. Let me have that skunk out. You want me to finish your fighting in jail? You'll have about a week to do it in. That's when the court sets. Then, then you're not holding Billy, Sheriff? Well, he didn't kill Pedro, did he? No, but you... Then why should I? I ain't got no warrant for him. As far as I'm concerned, he's as free as the air. Thanks to you, masked man. Forget it, Billy. Come, Tonto. Oh. Hey, wait, I'm going too. Billy, huh? You you're riding away. You you won't stay here for a while? Miss, I can't. But why? Oh, and if you stop to think it over, Miss, you wouldn't want me to. But but I have thought it over. You don't savvy, Miss. You see, I got out of this trouble, sure. And I guess I just ain't the kind that can settle down anyways. I'll always be riding, and there'll always be fellas after me, and, well, I reckon one day I'll find I, I ain't rode far enough to dodge him. Get him up, go! Just heard as a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>